What is going on guys? Nathan here with another Team Fortress 2 gameplay commentary. Lo que pasa muchachos, Nathan aquí con otra fortaleza del equipo dos comentario. That is a rough Spanish translation of my intro that I hopefully did not butcher. Uh, maybe those of you who speak Spanish on my channel and are watching this video, which is probably like one person can correct me in the comments section below but um anyway we are talking about the baby faces blaster today and by the utmost slight chance that is also what you're watching on the screen is some baby faces blaster scout gameplay on cp5 gorge a map that i do not uh, frequent very much in the TF2 universe, but it's good to have some variety So uh, I decided to hop in on the Skyle server and uh, start playing now the baby faces blaster was buffed in the Autumn update by valve um, if you want to look up the stats then go ahead But I'm not actually gonna mention them because I'm lazy so <laughs> gives you an inkling of my morals anyway um, So it was basically buffed there's like better damage and the boost system was the boost not the booze, the boost system was changed. Yeah, um, so it's basically better now. And some people are saying it's overpowered. I don't know whether jokingly or not, but I've heard many times that like, oh, the baby face of blaster is so overpowered now. Um, and I, I, I you know, it's not really because before the baby faces blaster was joked about as being a gimmick weapon, which I was actually surprised that it was referred to that like that if that makes sense. Grammar. Um, because the Baby Faces Blaster, while it didn't do as much damage because it had the damage penalty and was more accurate and stuff like that, um, it was still a viable weapon. Like, with basically the speed hacks that you have, you could seriously mess with the enemy and get basically some free kills depending on the class that you're facing. So I thought it was a pretty legit weapon because, you know, that, that speed is so powerful. It is so powerful. Plus, it's really fun to have basically speed hacks and just be so fast. Um, I mean, transportation, I think, is probably one of the most underrated aspects of TF2 because, you know, the faster you can move, the faster you can get health packs, the faster you can just completely confuse your enemy, and I think it also almost directly relates to the kills that you can get, but, um, anyway, it, I mean, the blaster before the update wasn't really used at all in competitive, um, and I'll talk a little bit on competitive, I don't have a lot of, you know, credentials to be like, oh, this is what's what in the competitive scene, but, um, it wasn't really used because in competitive, scouts go for picks a lot, which means that you want a lot of high damage output in a very short amount of time to just get that class down and then move on and, you know, flank some more or whatever you want to do. And the scatter gun was best for that because the baby faces blaster, you had that extra damage penalty and that might transfer to, you know, three shotting a class instead of two shotting, which might result in a death here or there, which affects the team positioning. It's just kind of a domino effect if you, if you really look at it. Um, so the scatter gun was always better, but I haven't played a lot of competitive since the new update, so I don't know if it's being used a lot or not, but I can definitely see this weapon being very, very powerful with the kind of aim that people have in competitive. Um, with the kind of speed that you have, you know, you can't jump so you can't dodge the best, but the, with the kind of speed that you have, you can still get probably some amazing picks as competitive scout, um, but there, there, there's kind of this aspect that, that also kind of nibbles at the back of my brain that says, Scattergun is so traditional that I think it would take a lot for people to move um, primaries as scout, at least in the competitive scene, but I don't know, maybe that's just me because a scattergun seems like freaking so awesome, but um, I mean, yeah, the, the weapon is very, very powerful, and I don't think people can dispute that, but is it overpowered? Which, that's moving into a pretty gray area. I mean, on one side, you have okay, this weapon does full damage, you basically have speed hacks, and you can double jump without losing your boost. That's a very, like, the, the only thing bad about this entire set, you basically have speed hacks for a deduction of two shots in your magazine, which is definitely something that is viable because, you know, if, if you're going for picks especially, then you really don't need six shots, and that's in these hypothetical scenarios that, you know, I, I try to stay away from, but they're kind of necessary nonetheless. Anyway, um, 
that is a very powerful class setup. You basically have speed hacks for a trade-off of negative two shots in your magazine. Um, versus the argument that, you know, here I just paused the recording, looked up the blaster stats for a while, and determined that the stats say that the blaster is overpowered. Like, I'm not gonna lie, it is, it is very powerful. As to whether it's overpowered, to me personally, you know, it's, the stats say that it is, alright? The stats say that the blaster is overpowered. But to me personally, and this is just me, I don't know about any of you guys, but for me to consider a weapon overpowered, to be killed by it has to be really, really annoying and make you, like, mad and want to do something and just, like, complain, like, oh, this weapon is so powerful. The only reason he killed me was because of this weapon. And that is not something that I see fitting the Babyface's blaster because if I get killed by a blaster scout, I would say, okay, he has lots of speed, which might have affected... Well, it probably did affect that I didn't kill him, but at the same time, he also used a lot of skill to actually get the kill, or rather, to kill me, because he still had to line up the shot, pull the trigger, and, you know, all of that other stuff, which, it's not like the mini sentry, where you kind of just throw it down, and it gets kills, which, to me, is more annoying than anything like it might not do a ton of damage on the battlefield but it's really annoying which i think is part of the reason why people hate it so much the blaster i just don't see as being that annoying weapon where like if you get killed by it you're like dang that just that that pisses me off this weapon is so overpowered it is the sole reason that i died in this gunfight like <laughs> it, it it still takes a lot of skill to use this primary and i think that is why i i personally would not consider it overpowered um and i don't know about you guys feel free to leave your thoughts in the comment section below but that's just kind of my take on it but either way no one i don't think anyone can argue that the blaster is very very powerful right now does it need a nerf maybe back down to Maybe, like, it has a three clip capacity now or something. I don't know. I think I think maybe a slight nerf would be necessary, but I don't think Valve would bother with that um, in, like, an update. Maybe they could, like, sneak it in in one of their, you know, unwritten um, updates or, like, you know, there there's always stuff that Valve... Well, not always. I don't like to make, you know, generalizations like that, but every once in a while there will be stuff that Valve doesn't include in their patch notes that gets updated. Um, so maybe they could do something like that with the blaster, although I doubt it because it would be too visible. Excuse me, I had a little hiccup there. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much thoughts on the blaster so far. It is one of, like, the four weapons, I think, that got either buffs or nerf. I, th I think it was actually all buffs. It was, like, the amputator, the... Oh, what's the crossbow? Well, yeah, it's just the crossbow, the Crusader's crossbow with the medic. Um, maybe I'll do a video on that. I'm not entirely sure, but, um, yeah. Anyway, that's pretty much the blaster. Also, side note, in real life stuff, um, Catan is tomorrow, so there'll be like a two to three hour video going up either on Saturday or Sunday, depending on if I upload it overnight, which I probably will up upload it overnight. Um, and unfortunately, my computer did not get here today. Uh, hopefully it'll get here on Monday or Tuesday. I was kind of just assuming it would arrive uh, today because of the days predicted for shipping, but um, I didn't actually look it up like a freaking derp. So, <laughs> yeah, that's a thing. So, hopefully that unboxing video or whatever it is, you know, just kind of a showcase of what I all have in my internals will be going up on Monday or Tuesday or something like that. Um, and I get to build my PC, actually. Um, then. So, that'll be really fun. I'm actually planning, like, this will be my first build for a PC, and I'm actually planning on following, uh, the Newegg tutorial. Newegg has a very good tutorial on how to build a PC, um, on YouTube. So, yeah, I'll, I'll just kind of closely stick to, or not closely, but, like, loosely stick to that. So, anyway, um, that is the video, guys. Feel free to leave a rating if you did enjoy it. I always appreciate ratings, and, uh, Perhaps subscribe if you're new to my channel. That is always appreciated as well. New subscriptions. And I will see you guys later. Peace out.